So here we are, my first review of the VFR 800. So I bought this baby just over a week ago. It's a 2008 model, 34,000 on the clock, full Honda luggage. So I traded in my 1995 Fireblade and since taking ownership of her, We've had quite a few storms, so I haven't actually been out on her yet. So, so today, excuse me then, I burped. So today, we're going to give her a little ride. I'm not going to give her a, a good hammering, obviously, because I've got all the luggage on, and it's quite heavy, so I'm just going to get a feel for it, what it does, what she feels like. Absolutely love the bike. The position already is amazing compared to the blade. It feels so upright, um, and I also I might look at having the bar risers fitted, so it just gives me an inch and a quarter more on the bars. Uh, but no, I'm very happy with that. I had to get the back tyre done; that was going down. It was leaking round the rim, so I had to get that resealed, and also the front forks were leaking, so I had to clean the seals on those and reseat them, and they are all fine. I need to repaint the forks, which they always seem to get a bit a bit scabby. And I think she's absolutely beautiful, I love it. So it's gonna be nice to get out actually and do a proper ride on her. At the moment all I've done is gone up and down this road. I ain't even got out of second gear. So it'll be a nice little ride. And there is one thing on this bike I do not like already. And it's nothing to do with the riding. The one thing I do not like is the exhaust here because it just looks scabby why they didn't come up with some kind of a shield uh, I need to harpic pepper tend this up get it clean heat shield's quite good apparently those are known to rot in so that looks quite newish so whether that's being replaced but this bit here I think that is ugly I think something could have been done with that I suppose it's nice once it's shiny but Apart from that, she is a stunner. Absolutely love it. Right then, let's get buckled up and let's get out for the ride. Right then, VFR 800. Let's make a move. Let's see what this baby is like. I actually don't feel too heavy. I think it's quite well balanced. Okay then, let's go and get some fuel. Oh, well that's a massive difference already. I can actually turn. Before on the blade being down here, I couldn't turn. Oh, that's amazing. Right then, okay. Outside air temperature, two degrees. Oh, she feels all right with all the weight on. Ah, oh, the position. Oh, the riding position feels amazing. I feel upright. My neck don't feel arched. My wrists don't curl. I'm loving the sound as well. Just gotta get used to that biting point. It's the only thing I noticed on the fire blade was the revs, it was very sensitive. So the slightest little bit of rev and you'd pull off. So obviously this is a little bit more calmer down in pulling off. Okay. I'll tell you what feels nice 
another big difference is the turning. Now on the fire blade, the front wheel was a 16 inch front wheel, so slightest little bit of a turn and it was quite aggressive how it snatched. Obviously this having the bigger front wheel, it seems to um, seems to turn smooth. So I suppose I might just take a bit of getting used to that ad when taking some corners. I'm liking the feel of these brakes already with this uh this combined braking. That feels nice. Oh ho, ho, listen to her. Listen to the sound. Oh let's get some fuel. Let's fill her up. And let's take her out for a little run. Chaos in the petrol station. And I'll tell you what. We are going right here. Now what I've also got today, I have got my heated vest on. I've had it two years, I've never really worn it, so I thought today will be the, the test to try it out. And you never know, I might need to put it on tonight when I'm camping in the tent to keep me nice and warm. I'll tell you another good thing, you seeing that the phone there. Now on the blade it was quite hard to look down, I had to try and get the phone mounted here. Mirrors, the mirrors are brilliant, I can see. That was one thing notorious on the blade, you had no vision, all you could see was elbows. Now this does look quite nice. Well so far I'm enjoying the feel. I haven't had to modify my tank bag, that fits just nicely. So all in all, the two little roads I've been down, I'm quite impressed. I do like the riding position. So it feels quite talky. In fact, after that initial pull off, she does feel more talky than the fire blade. But then again, I suppose this bike is 13 years younger, so technology has moved on. Well, let's see what this corner's like. Oh yeah, the cornering feels nice. Doesn't seem to uh, want to sharply turn, which the blade did. It tried to sharply turn as fast as it could. I've not got any buffeting at the minute. I think this is the higher screen the bike's got. But I'm not getting any buffeting. I do feel quite protected on my top half. It's a pity the weather's like this today. Because I mean, I can't really stretch her legs a bit. I'm trying to take it a bit careful on new bike, wet greasy roads. But I, I am definitely impressed. I am definitely, come on Craig, get your confidence. Stop taking corners at 10 miles an hour. Oh, I do like that, that you can look over your shoulder. I've never really experienced that much. Yeah, I'm getting a bit more feel for that biting point now. Still taking a bit easy on the corner, so I'll get used to it. So I would like to have tried hitting that VTEC today, but 
I think I'm going to be a bit more cautious. I kind of feel the difference already in my wrists and my back. See, boy, now the sad thing is, boy, now on the blade, I've literally done what two miles. Boy, now I'm already thinking, right, okay, I've got 20 minutes, 25 minutes to the first stop. That's no way, really, to be enjoying a bike when you're just looking at when you're going to stop. It's not something you want to do. I'll tell you what. I am going to plug this heated vest in a minute. I'm going to see what it's like. At the minute, I'm not cold, but I really want to see what the difference is. Because I know um, Goose swears by it. He lives in it. I'm just getting used to the Speedo being digital. I keep looking at the rev counter. That's what I was used to looking at on the blade. Engine braking's good on this. I'm very impressed with the engine braking. The engine braking on the blade was a bit... Um, it wasn't so much it, you had engine braking. The gearbox just squealed itself to death when you knocked it down again. gear. I didn't like it. But then again, I suppose, being a sports bike, I suppose it, it wants to be blipped. I've got to say, so, that the turning, the turning does feel smooth. I do like the turning. I'm happy with that. Sorry, people, if the lens is all mucked up at the minute. I'm just concentrating on the road um, instead of cleaning my lens. Just getting a feel for the bike. It's amazing how smooth the bike feels as well, the suspension. I didn't realise actually until riding this how old the blade was and how clunky it felt. It did feel. Um, riding this now, the, I could tell the age of the bike. I don't know whether I had the suspension set too hard or anything like that though, but um, it was not as smooth as this and the gear change as well this hydraulic clutch that's so smooth where <laughs> the blade it was like you was actually doing a workout for the cable but the cable was a bit too tight but um, what I'm going to do in a minute I'm just going to pull in I'm going to plug in my heated vest I just want to check that back tyre make sure it hasn't gone down I think what I will do I think I'll make part two of this review when it's a nice dry sunny day and I've got some dry roads. I'll tell you what, let's pull in here. I've got to say, I love the sound of that engine. She don't sound like she's purring, she sounds like she's roars. Very impressed with that. What, we're in neutral. Cancel the indicators. Well, let's get off. Let's have a look. No, I've put a bit of um, ACF 50 on. So I'd imagine there's a bit of a smoke coming from her. What, tyre looks good? Yep, that ain't going nowhere. That's now lost. Anything? USB is okay, what? Let me just check them forks. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Folks look good. Yeah, we are looking good. I tell you what, she's a good look. Look at her. She's a good looking girl. Damn. I better be jealous at her when other people look at her. I'm like, don't you be looking at my chick, man. It's in mine. Get your dirty eyes off her. So another thing is, right, it's amazing. I've got everything in those panniers. Tent, airbed, sleeping bag, pillar, kettle, electric heater, hot water bottle, coffee, airbed pump. I mean, what you see in there, I can, that, I can live. I can live on that bike, like that. I've got everything I need to live. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to plug in the heated vest. We'll try that. And I'm also going to connect my phone to Bicardo because I did a firmware update and I reset it to factory settings and I lost everything. So let's just get it connected. And I can give Victor a call then. Well, Mr. Vida, 
Every word you said, I believe, mate. She's living up to everything. I imagine she would. Very impressed, mate. I'm very impressed. Just be nice to have a nice dry day to fully uh, try her out. So I definitely think a review part two will have to come. Oh, I've got to say, the turning is amazing. I mean, by now, that was all twitchy. And one thing um, I do like, she feels, she feels very planted. So I think the extra weight of the bike is paying off. She feels hard, she feels solid on the ground. And I've got to say, considering I've got all this luggage on, I'm not really noticing any, any difference. It's amazing um, the struggle and the battle I had with making a decision to get rid of the blade. And all I seem to be doing now is picking out the faults of the blade compared to this. But I definitely, um, this was definitely the right decision to make, definitely. And as I said, I haven't even been out on a dry road yet. Very happy boy. I am a very happy boy.